Hi mates, video dead, and I want to do a very quick tutorial for one of my subscribers, uh, Samwise7187. This is his channel. I shall leave a link. Um, he asked me how to make the flashing arcadey text I have at the end of my quickies videos, so. I'm just going to make it from scratch as best as I can. It was a while ago I made it, so let's go. Right, here we have Sony Movie Studio. Let's go Media Generators, Legacy Text. And drop one down and go. Let's pull this over here. Let's get rid of that. I don't want that. Right, we've got text. Now, the font I used was. Uh, where is it? Arcade normal. There we go. Now that's gone all weird. So I suggest uh, sizing it up a bit. There we go. Yeah, occasionally with downloaded fonts, you will get that weirdness in here. So muck around with the sizing in here, and then if you need to make it smaller, you go into your event pan crop and let's slide this back to the beginning and let us make it smaller there like that uh, in this event pan crop thingy you want to have these two checked unless obviously you want to do other stuff but these this will lock the aspect ratio so no matter how you drag it about it's always going to fit in your 16 by 9 and size about center means it will stay centered as you shrink it and expand it I mean, I'll, sh I'll show you quickly look if I take that off that will shrink up to the corner there like that so I'm just going to right click restore get those both checked shrink it down a little bit if you need to move it about you hold it about hold it in the square and move it thus there we go, let's just have it there, that'll do. Right, so our text, let's get rid of that. What we're going to do with the text now, properties. Let's use this leading slider to move them apart a little bit. There we go. I think what I also might do, back to edit, I'm going to take it off of bold. There we go, back to properties. Now, we want those nice garish arcadey colours, so let's start with a yellow. There we go. Nice bit of yellow. And then we go to effects and we want draw shadow. Let's take all the feathering off of that. Then go into here. Let's do green shadow with it. Click off. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit tucked away behind it, so we Let's offset it. I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to do it about 0.06 perhaps and do the other one the same. There we go. So there we go, we've got a nice yellow text with a green background. Old school arcadey. Now, to get it flashing different colours, what we need to do is right click on there copy and we want to paste now pasting options we want to create a new copy there we go because if we create a, a reference to the original when you start fiddling about with this one it will change the original as well we don't want to do that so let's go into this one and change our colours about. What, so what do we have? We had yellow with the green. So let's go orange with the green, like that. And we don't want to do anything else. We want to keep everything else exactly the same. And now we're going to paste again. And again, create a new. We're going to go into this one. Let's get a slider over it. Uh, so, what do we have? We had 
yellow and green, orange and green. So I think we're going to have to go green and perhaps yellow for our shadow. Did that work? Uh, let's see, right now what we're going to do, we're going to make really thin slices. How quick is that? Not quick enough, thinner. We want thinner, thin slices. There we go. Let's try this. Just, just get that down there. Get this one over. Thin little slices. They're still not quite flashing quickly enough. Tiny little slices. Here we go. Let's get right in there. Uh, it's gone by a bit quick, so what I'm going to do now, zoom in a bit more. I'm going to click on this one, hold shift, click on this one, uh, right click, copy. Now, I'm going to paste. Where's paste gone? Have I lost paste? No, right, paste, there we go. Now, this time, I am going to create a reference to the original media because I just want <coughs> these three. On a just to repeat or on a little loop I want them to repeat over and over again so create a reference to the original because I'm not going to change it let's just pop those in there and left click there left click hold shift and left click there right click copy so you can paste using control V actually so I'll do that control V Create reference to the original. Control V. Create reference to the original. There we go. Let's have a look at that. There we go. Sort of flashing. I might have got my colours a bit wrong, but uh, you get the idea. So it's quite, quite a simple thing, really. You just, just got to do a lot of chopping about. There we go. And that's how you make your flashing arcade text. Hope this has been helpful for you Samwise and uh, I look forward to watching some of your videos. Bye bye.